To keep away from that big bad L. No, no. Do a banana, Jace? Want a banana on your breakfast? That's a melon. <laughs> Jace is like, whoa, that's a big banana. I want a banana on <laughs> Whoa, close, Jace. Uh, Jace, Jace, do you want to come down here? Do your advent calendar and then I'll get your breakfast. <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not waiting. I want my breakfast right now. Oh, there's again. <laughs> okay, girls, you waited very patiently while I sorted Jace out. Look at that one! Oh my gosh, that looks like, um, it reminds me of the hill on the North Pole Express. Not the oh, yeah, the Polar Express. Express. That's the one. they're going up it. Yeah. I'm going to really guess, nice. um, Draco. I've always wanted to go on the, on the Polar Express when they go down that huge hill. Yeah, I yeah. I want to do that. I want to be on the train, <laughs> too. Okay. Okay, Hermione. We've got Cedis! Yes! It's from both of my favourite movies. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 Cute! So it's Cedric and Cho, and then we've got Harry. Who else? What? Um, yeah, we've got, got Harry and Ginny. Oh, no, but he, she didn't go with Ginny. Oh, he yeah. goes with the other girls there. the tiny writer and not the massive bold <laughs> scrub yeah. that says on the top. The scrub of your life. Mama, I that's love that's scrubs. Awesome. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll open my wow. Is it a good one? Yeah, they're all so nice. Oh, good. Really good. Cool. cool. Okay, so I'll shut this now. As May, who'd you get? No, nope, I've got get? no clue who that is. Oh, Bellatrix. <gasps> Easy! Like it's like, oh, it's Bellatrix. She was, she's an evil I love Bellatrix. She's one of my favourite characters. How? She's evil. Even though she's evil, she's one of my favourites. She's cool. Like, she's like, terrifying. If you ran to her like, in the street, she's like, I'd be like... Uh. She'll play the mum. Like what, Isabel? Chocolate! She plays the mum of Charlie. And Charlie's <laughs> chocolate factor. Yeah. Ah, she's cool. She's got a at home. She's very thin factor. Yeah. Name, cool. Okay, off you go, Isla. Did you know the Milky Way galaxy is 13.6 billion years old? Wow. That's quite old. Yeah. <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> just a bit old, Isla. Okay. You enjoy your chocolate. Good morning, everyone. So I'm currently just getting ready for the day. And I'm all 
also just doing a bit of singing because every morning, well actually I've been doing a few singing videos on my TikTok recently um, and I've been getting a lot of really positive messages so I actually want to say thank you to everyone who's been really positive and um, not making me feel so self-conscious and being very positive. So I just want to say thank you to everyone leaving them very kind messages on my TikToks. Um, I've been doing singing videos recently but I've been doing so many singing videos that my voice is like really strange because I've got loads saved. Anyway, people were telling me that I need to start warming my voice up in the morning and I have no idea how to do that. They were saying you should maybe like get a teacher but obviously with Covid and everything I can't get a teacher and go with a teacher and I don't know if you know how to do online things. Anyway, um, a lot of people were saying that I should warm my voice up so I've just been sat here like, <laughs> like trying to warm my voice up. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I just thought to share that. What's up guys, good morning, welcome to a very wet and windy and dreary day in good old Yorkshire right now. Not gonna lie, it's after lunch, it's quite a ways after lunch actually. Been up since the crack of dawn this morning, cracking on and getting all the Christmas things, all the Christmas orders ready and done at the office. I've just actually finished my half of it this morning and I've swapped with Sarah, she's just gone to the office to crack on for the afternoon. Me and Jason, the girls have got a bit of a mission to get on right now. We need to go over to the other side of Leeds to pick up something for the Christmas period next week. I'm a bit excited. So we're gonna go, I need to get my spare registration plate for the car and um, and then we need to get on the road. Does anybody else ever get this? Last night I didn't finish editing and doing the work I had to do till about four and then I went to bed and I was up at half seven. So I think I caught about, what even is that? That's like three and a half hours or something like that of sleep. And um, oh, sometimes when I just don't have enough sleep, my legs just throb all day. Like my knees just hurt all day when I don't get enough sleep sometimes. Today is especially bad. Today's one of them days I just want to take some painkillers and just, just sit in bed and chill because they are throbbing. So if anyone else has like knee pain like that just because they don't sleep or whatever it might be, it might be to do with the weather sometimes. I feel like it's to do with the weather. Like my knees are, there's nothing wrong with my knees. Like my knees are fine. But from all my years of skating and doing silly things like jumping down big high stairs or off roofs and stuff like that, you know, I think they're probably definitely taking some wear and tear. And maybe it's something to do with that and all the weather, I don't really know. But something anyway. And today, oh my goodness me, I am suffering with my knees so bad. Okay, let's go. So we've just been and picked up the trailer that we actually rent every single year at Christmas time. This is actually our fourth year running, renting this exact trailer, the exact same one. And I missed him, I missed him so much. Although towing this feels like nothing compared to towing that big old caravan. Like this might as well not even be on the back. You can still throw the car around a corner like normal and this thing just comes straight with it. Caravan would have been on its roof for sure. This is, this is cool man. Although it looks so much smaller than I remember it looking last year, probably because I'm used to the caravan. Anyway, we've been in collect today. We've done a lot of mileage across Leeds. The traffic is absolutely redonkulous tonight. I hope this wasn't gonna take as long uh, as it did. It's almost 6 p.m. now and we set off at three. So and we're, no, we're still not home yet, we're, we're nowhere near home yet. We just stopped off for some petrol and uh, I promised the girls we'd get some hot chocolates on the way and we haven't seen a Mackie's yet to stop for some hot chocolates. That's what we're looking for right now. And the Mackie's that's here is not doing hot chocolates right now. So we're gonna go to the next Mackie's which isn't too far away from here. Mom's still at the office so I feel like we might, maybe, maybe surprise her with a hot chocolate or something or... I'm gonna hit her up anyway in a minute and see what she wants to do for dinner because uh, the night's just getting on. And I know for a fact she is not gonna feel like cooking tonight because we've been on it all day. I definitely don't feel like cooking tonight so I'm gonna see if she wants to do something or get some takeaway or something like that, I don't know. Being, is it Friday today? Being a Friday night is Friday, yes! Friday. Don't know why I'm so excited about that, you know. These days, every day is pretty much the same, right? Friday night used to be jazz night. I didn't. I mean, it's not been jazz night for me for a while, you know. Parent life and all that. But that's what it is for a lot of people. It's jazz night tonight, and uh, everyone's getting this, you know, Spandau Ballet on and getting on with it and, and getting out and loving life. But not anymore, not at the minute. Not in COVID times. What am I even on about? I need to just shut up, man. I need to go to bed. I need to stop talking because I've obviously slept nowhere near enough. And now I'm just rambling and waffling just for no reason and talking absolute waffle. Anyway, I need to find my girl some hot chocolate. And, um, yeah. Guys, I haven't been on the vlog very much today. Hello, frog. <clears throat> Apologies. Not been on the vlog very much at all today because I've been here busy, busy, busy up at the office. Oh my goodness, though, I've been sat like sat at this desk for probably like six hours, <laughs> not doing nothing, obviously. 
um, and then stood out at the parking station out there for like two hours. I've been like here eight hours. It is actually quite late now. Chris and the girls just got, it's not late, but it's like, oh my gosh, look at the state of me. Um, Chris and the girls just got here basically. So the girls and Jace are playing in our other office um, and I'm currently getting the extra stocking fillers I've got for Santa sorted out and shipped off in time for Christmas. I can't believe a week today it will all be over, babe. Imagine it. Yeah, one week today, it's Christmas day. It's crazy, it's absolutely crazy. So whilst I'm doing this now, Chris was like, he did actually originally come to pick me up and take me home, but I said I'd rather just keep going as long as we can tonight because there's just not enough hours in the day. So Chris is just carrying on with the store orders that just came in today. We're fully caught up on the stores though, right? Just about. Um, I'm doing stockings. Um, I'm actually really excited this year. It's the first year that the girls have got completely different things in their Christmas stockings. Usually I keep them similar because it's just stockings at the end of the day. And they're more, they're more just like a fun thing to run out of bed before we go and um, see if Santa's been. But this year I decided to really think about what the girls would actually really want and it's made me so much more excited. They have all got different things. I haven't counted what usually I count as well like so they've all got the exact same amount. Not done that this year. Don't have time for that. If someone's got less than the other it's unfortunate. <laughs> they've all got en enough so I'm sure nobody will mind. I've just got the last few bits of someone's here. I'm not gonna say who's. All of those there, and then these last few bits here to wrap. Also, apologies, the brightness was right up on that last clip. But guys, one thing that's keeping me going today, if you guys can win my heart, then it's with these. Look at this chocolate bag. I'm gonna steal them from you because they're amazing. Chris has come in like four times. He's out there doing the packing for the, uh, the stores and he keeps coming in and taking them. And I just, oh my gosh. I'm not really a sweet. I do like sweets actually recently. I've really been into like uh, sweets, but I prefer like chocolate. And oh my gosh, look how good these are. These were actually gifted and they're just absolutely amazing. Such a lovely company on Instagram, a really nice small business. And they do loads of stationery and also like sweeties. We can mix bags, chocolates. I know lots of you guys have ordered from them before. It's shop. You could, they also have a website, www.shopgsopb. There you go, guys. Shop BG. Okay. Um, I also got some stocking fillers for the girls from the stationery section, stationery section, and it's so, in Isabel's words, aesthetically pleasing. For me, anyway. Maybe not for everyone, but definitely for me, because I've managed to get everything the same, so all of the same sets, but just in different colours. <laughs> I absolutely love them. So there's pencils... Pink, pink, where's the pink? There we go. Pink pens, purple, calculator. We've even got rulers. Um, I absolutely love when you can get things for the girls that are all exactly the same, but just a different colour. And obviously now that we homeschool, you can just never have too many, too many stationary little bits. I do know that GB, I always say GB, BG, this company that I got the sweets and the um, stationery from, from, do offer a discount as well to the FM. So if anybody's interested in anything, then make sure you head over there and let them know and you'll get a discount on your stuff. Right, one more chocolate star. Mm. And then I'm going to finish wrapping these. So I'm finally on the last child stocking. And for anyone new to our channel, I just thought I'd quickly, quickly say that I know that Santa Claus brings stockings for lots and lots of boys and girls all around the world. But we always send extra gifts off for Jace and the girls at Christmas time. Just because we love doing stockings on our bed in the morning. And we are really, really, really lucky and fortunate enough to be able to send a few extra gifts off. So that's the gifts that I'm showing you guys right now. These are extra ones that I'm sending off to Santa. I am on Jace's. So glad. I am actually not sending many gifts off to Santa for Jace's stocking this year because he's only, he's not even two, he's only one and I know that sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming when there's too much to open and obviously he's got all his presents as well but I did want him some presents to open on Christmas morning for stockings obviously because the girls will be too so I got him a few bits and I thought I'd show you guys what 
I got. So none of this stuff was expensive. It was probably like 10 or 12 pounds for everything. I got him this really cute Peppa Pig chunky crayon colour sheet kit. This was £1.50 from Matalan, I think. I think he's going to love that. I got him this googly eye book. This was from the pound shop. He's got the elf version and he absolutely loves it. And he loves snowmen. So I know he's going to like that. This was £3 in the sale from um, Tesco's. And I love it so much because it's it plays the It's a small world after all. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> song from Disneyland Paris. And that's our favourite ride. I'm not going to play it now because it lasts for ages and it won't go off. But the lights flash and it plays that song and Jace loves cars, so I thought this would be perfect. Um, I don't actually remember ordering this, <laughs> but it came in um, an Asda order that I did. And it's a little bath toy, as you can see. Can't remember how much I paid because I don't even remember ordering it. So that's a cute little bath toy. This... He is currently obsessed with trains. He loves choo-choos so, so much. And he's got into Thomas as well recently. And I thought this one was really cute, the Diamond Anniversary Thomas. This was actually £4 on the sale. On the sale? On sale in Argos. So I thought I'd get that for him as well. Now, you guys are going to laugh, but I promise I don't know what's happened to this chocolate at the end. <laughs> Obviously, there was five chocolates at one point in here. One must have fallen out fallen out and got crushed because I promise you guys I haven't eaten it. I just got this out of the cupboard and one's missing and it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm sure Jace will still like it. And then finally, I'm not actually going to open these, but finally I got these super cute. I bought these from a small business. They're like wooden mushrooms in loads of different colours. I don't know if you can see in there. I think there's six little mushrooms. And then to go with the mushroom colours, there's six gnomes like really long hats and they're like peg you know the peg dolls but with gnome hats on as well and they just look absolutely adorable they're going to be a nightmare to wrap so i'm not going to take them out of the packages but that is everything that jace is going to get in his christmas stocking i almost just finished up the stocking forget it, and almost forgot two other little cute gifts that i am wrapping jace up um, in his Christmas stocking and these are also from small businesses also I just realized that I said I'd got the mushrooms and the gnomes from a small business it was actually a small business on eBay and I can't remember the name but I will go back and have a look um, what the name is she does all sorts of really cute wooden like trinket toy things and they're just so so cute I love wooden toys which is why I love these as well so much and I will be wrapping these up in Jace's stocking as well seriously did you ever see anything so beautiful in your whole entire life so Jace actually has a few little Neds from Ruddy and Bear um I've shown you guys them a few times before this one oh my gosh and then I think I may have shown these two Lunaroo ones before these were gifted and they're absolutely adorable as well very similar but these ones are animal ones so we've got the sleepy tiger and this absolutely adorable little panda I definitely have a soft spot for little wooden toys like that I just think they're so timeless and cute and adorable and I love them but my back's absolutely broke i feel like i've been sat here for about eight days so i'm gonna get myself back home it's chai time let these simmer for about five minutes and we have the perfect chai on the first day of christmas my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree so we just got back home and I'm about to end the vlog and say good night. We're gonna get Jace to bed. I think I might actually go to bed. Yeah, oh my gosh, Jace has learned to say no. Jace, come here. He's just gonna ignore me now. He also has selective hearing. He's learned to say no. <laughs> and he knows what it means as well. Is it a star? Do you want to go to bed? No. Do you want to go to bed? No. Don't know if you guys can hear him, but he's definitely saying no right now. Sorry about the lighting, but. It's been a long day and I'm not putting those lights, the lights, on to end the vlog tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to come back tomorrow at 5pm. We've got another really fun day planned. We're actually going Secret Santa shopping tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I can't wait to get that another thing ticked off the list and all done. Uh, we're going to all head into Leeds, I think, and do that tomorrow. So we'll see you back here at 5pm. Good night, guys. Mm.